In the world of technology, a silent battle rages, a battle for the heart of every computer, smartphone, and smart device. This is the story of two titans, ARM and RISC-V. These are not just names, they represent fundamentally different approaches to how our devices think and operate. Understanding this battle is crucial for anyone serious about the future of technology. It's a battle that will shape the landscape of computing for years to come. This essay dives deep into the technical intricacies of ARM and RISC-V. We'll explore their histories, their strengths and weaknesses, and their potential for future dominance. We'll dissect their architectures, compare their performance, and analyze their adoption across various industries. By the end you'll have a comprehensive understanding of these two technological powerhouses and be able to form your own opinion on who will ultimately prevail. Buckle up tech enthusiasts as we embark on a journey into the heart of the ARM vs. RISC-V showdown. Before we dive into the specifics of ARM and RISC-V, let's establish a common language. At the core of every computer system lies the processor, the brain that executes instructions. These instructions are defined by the processor's architecture, its fundamental DNA. This DNA is formally known as the Instruction Set Architecture or ISA, and ISA dictates the basic vocabulary of commands a processor understands. Think of it as the set of building blocks for software to interact with the hardware. A processor designed for a specific ISA can only execute instructions defined within that ISA. Now, enter RISC Reduced Instruction Set Computing. This philosophy born in the 1980s advocates for smaller simpler instruction sets. The idea is to optimize for speed and efficiency by focusing on frequently used instructions. This contrasts with the CISC, Complex Instruction Set Computing approach, which employs larger more specialized instructions. Understanding ISA and RISC-C is crucial because both ARM and RISC-V fall under the RISC-C umbrella. They prioritize streamlined instruction sets for performance and efficiency. However, their approaches to this philosophy as we'll discover are subtly yet significantly different. IARM, an acronym for ACORN RISC Machine, boasts a long and storied history. Its roots trace back to the 1980s with ACORN Computers, a British company that developed the ARM architecture for their line of personal computers. What started as a niche design quickly gained traction for its low power consumption and efficient performance. The turning point for ARM came with the rise of mobile devices. The demand for compact, energy-efficient processors was sky-high, and ARM, with its inherent advantages, rose to the occasion. Today, ARM's architecture reigns supreme in the mobile world, powering billions of smartphones, tablets, and other portable devices. The success of ARM can be attributed to several factors. Its licensing model, which allows companies to license the architecture and build their own custom chips, has fostered a vast and diverse ecosystem. This has led to widespread adoption and a wealth of software and hardware optimized for ARM processors. Today, ARM stands as a testament to the power of specialization and a focus on energy efficiency. In contrast to ARM's commercial success, RISC-V represents a different breed of innovation. Born in the hallowed halls of academia at the University of California, Berkeley, RISC-V is an open-source architecture. This means its specifications are freely available for anyone to use, modify, and distribute. This open-source nature has profound implications. It breaks down traditional barriers to entry, allowing smaller companies and even individuals to design and implement their own custom processors without hefty licensing fees. This fosters a spirit of collaboration and rapid innovation, with contributions pouring in from a global community of developers. RISC-V's modular design is another key differentiator. Unlike ARM, which offers a range of pre-designed processor cores, RISC-V allows for granular customization. Developers can pick and choose the instructions and features they need, building highly specialized processors optimized for specific tasks. This flexibility makes RISC-V well-suited for emerging fields like the Internet of Things (IoT), where customization and low power consumption are paramount.
Section 6. Instruction Sets and Performance, A Tale of Two Philosophies. Arm and Risk. 5. While both adhering to the risk philosophy, differ in their approaches to instruction set design. ARM offers several instruction set architectures such as ARMv8A for high-performance computing and ARMv8M for microcontrollers. RISC-V adopts a modular approach with a small efficient base instruction set. Additional instructions for complex tasks can be added as extensions. ARM currently holds the edge in raw performance. However, RISC-V is rapidly catching up. Section 7. Real-World Rivalry ARM vs. RISC-V in Action the theoretical battle between ARM and RISC-V translates into real-world competition across various industries. ARM, with its established ecosystem and performance, dominates the mobile and embedded systems market. Tech giants like Apple, Samsung and Qualcomm rely heavily on ARM-based processors for their smartphones, tablets and wearables. RISC-V, while a relative newcomer is rapidly carving out its niche. Its open-source nature and customization options make it attractive for emerging fields like the Internet of Things, edge computing and automotive. Companies like Google and NVIDIA have shown interest in RISC-V, leveraging its flexibility for specific applications. The choice between ARM and RISC-V often boils down to factors like cost, performance requirements, customization needs, and the availability of software and hardware support. ARM's mature ecosystem provides a smoother development experience, while RISC-V's flexibility allows for greater control and potential cost savings. As both architectures continue to evolve, we can expect to see even more diverse applications, with each playing to their strengths in different areas of the tech landscape. Section 8. Gazing into the Crystal Ball, the Future of Processor Architectures Predicting the future is a fool's errand, but analyzing current trends can offer valuable insights. The explosive growth of data, the rise of artificial intelligence, and the increasing demand for low-power customizable solutions will shape the future of processor architectures. Arm aware of these trends, is investing heavily in AI and machine learning capabilities. Its acquisition of companies like ARM Limited and its focus on developing specialized AI processors demonstrate its commitment to staying ahead of the curve. RISC-V, with its inherent flexibility and open source nature, is well positioned to capitalize on the demand for customization. Its growing community and the increasing availability of RISC-V based hardware and software solutions are encouraging signs for its long-term prospects. The future might not necessarily be a winner-takes-all scenario. We could see a world where ARM and RISC-V coexist, each dominating specific areas of the tech industry. ARM might maintain its stronghold in mobile and high-performance computing, while RISC-V could become the go-to choice for IoT, edge devices, and specialized applications. Section 9. The Verdict, Collaboration, or Conquest So who wins the battle of ARM versus RISC-V? ARM with its established ecosystem and industry dominance is a formidable force. RISC-V challenges the status quo with its open source philosophy and customization. The future might be defined by collaboration and coexistence. Companies could leverage both architectures to create innovative solutions. If you found this video helpful or interesting, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow and allows us to keep bringing you more deep dives like this one. And if you want to stay up to date with all things tech, subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss an update. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Which architecture do you think will come out on top? I'd love to hear your opinions. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.